Hi, Mad. Welcome in today. My name is Dr. C. I'm going to be taking a look at you today and doing your face mapping session. Is there anything in particular that you would like me to focus on today? Mm, I've been noticing I'm having some uh, redness on my cheeks. Okay. And um, it's sometimes because of the heat, but I don't know if something else is going on. Okay. Do you use regular products on your face every day? I do. I do uh, wear makeup and uh, I apply uh, hydration. Okay. Do you do you use a uh, a cleanser at night? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I'm going to put on my gloves and then we shall begin. Just going to begin by touching the skin of your face, feeling for any signs of inflammation. I do see a bit of the redness that you had mentioned. I'm also going to go ahead and feel your lymph nodes, feel for any signs of enlargement. I do feel a bit of tension in your lymphatic area that would suggest that your lymph nodes are a little bit enlarged. So we can go ahead and take a look at that today. Focus on draining those lymph nodes. So face mapping is a, is a Chinese practice that involves linking regions of your face to major organs in the body. We're going to be focusing on Massaging your face and activate your organs to increase circulation, blood flow, and function in the body. First, I'm going to begin by doing some measuring on your face so I can identify which areas are inflamed. I'm going to be looking at the of the neck as well. Let's focus in on the ears today. Continue measuring using this metal tool here. It is going to be a bit cold on your skin. Just a, a heads up. You can just continue relaxing.
pressing the hammer into your skin, I'm going to be looking for um, the reaction that your skin has to the pressure of the hammer. We're going to be seeing how your nervous system responds to pressure. You can go ahead and keep relaxing. Your face is very even and symmetrical, which is a lovely sign. In my measurements, I found that there was a bit of inflammation under the skin, a little bit of irritation in the areas that you mentioned bothering you. So we are going to take a look at that today. Before we move on to our treatment element today, we are going to conduct a sharp or a dull test. This is going to be checking for the skin sensation uh, to different pressures so that you can identify the, the sensation that you're feeling. And this is going to be what dull feels like, and this is going to be what sharp feels like. Do you recognize the difference between those two sensations? Yes. Okay, great. Now you can keep relaxing with your eyes closed and let me know which sensation you feel, either sharp or dull. Okay. Dull. Sharp. No. 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 Sharp. 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 No. 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 Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. No. Sharp. 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 Okay. Great job, Matt. Your skin seems like it's responding perfectly normal to those two sensations. You were able to perfectly identify which object was sharp and which object was dull. Now we are going to move on to the treatment element of our visit today. Uh, go ahead and relax. We're going to begin by using some cold therapy to increase blood flow to your face. We're going to be balancing out our progesterone, testosterone, and estrogen levels here today.
using our cold therapy, we are going to target the pores of the face as well. It helps to tighten up those pores and to reduce inflammation in the face. we're going to wake up the skin with the sensory brushes that I have here. This activates the nerve cells lying within the skin. Um, it wakes in this activates the nerve cells within the skin, makes the skin wake up, and increases blood flow to the area. Now we're going to be focusing on our lymphatic system once again and training those lymph nodes. I am going to be using a wooden tool on your skin. You can continue to relax.
our face mapping by targeting areas of the face. We are going to be addressing our major organs as well. We have our liver, which removes toxins from the body, our kidneys, which process our liquids, and our heart, which pumps blood throughout our body. It's important to have a heightened sense of awareness as well as how our, our body is interrelated with our different elements here. Important to reflect on that self-care element as well. Maybe using a gua sha to drain out the lymphatic system at home. Now we're going to be taking a look at your ear. We're going to be taking a look at the left ear here. I'm going to have you turn your head a little bit to the right here. Okay. Have you noticed any problems with your ear recently, Matt? Mm. Okay. I'm going to just begin by palpating the skin of the ear. Does this area cause you any tenderness? Mm, a little bit, yeah. Okay. How about this area? No. Okay. How about in the inner ear? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And about right over here. It's important to recognize the areas of tenderness in the ear so that we can focus on relaxing and massaging those areas to decrease pain and increase our blood flow and our sense of comfort. I do have some ear seeds with me here today. It's going to be a product that relaxes tension in the ear as you massage it into the areas of tenderness, it does exactly what I mentioned earlier with relaxing your muscles, increasing the blood flow, reducing inflammation. Go ahead and relax. I'm going to put the ear seat into your ear. Massage it into place. As the ear seat is massaged into the ear, the healing properties will begin to take place. You might notice a slight bit of discomfort at first, but your ear should quickly adapt.
Now that our ear seeds are in place, I am going to gently massage them into the tender areas of the ear. I'm going to focus on the other ear now. I'm going to massage the ear again. Do you think the same areas of tenderness are affecting this ear as the other one? So our inner ear area, as well as some of our cartilage. Yeah. I do you feel a bit of inflammation here in this right ear? So we are going to be applying more ear seeds as well. Now I am going to massage the ear seeds into the tender areas of the ear, reducing the inflammation. to remove our ear seeds.
And how are our ears feeling now? Okay, lovely. Now I am going to ask you to turn over face down and we can take a look at your scalp. Okay. First, I'm going to begin by investigating your scalp. As part of our scalp care here today, this is going to involve me running my hands through your hair, feeling the texture of the skin and the hair follicles as well. Feeling for any kind of lumps, bumps. Okay, I am noticing some signs of some redness and a bit of irritation. I'm going to go ahead and conduct the same sharp or dull test that we did earlier on your scalp. Make sure that your sensations are functioning properly. So we're going to go ahead and conduct a sharp or dull test on the skin over here. Let me know whether the sensation that you feel is sharp or if that sensation is dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Okay. 
We had great reactions to our sharp and dull test. While the skin does seem to be a little bit irritated, we do have full functioning sensation of the skin of our scalp. We are going to move on to some of our treatments here today. We are going to start out with some cold therapy. Using our cold therapy, we are going to strengthen the muscles in the scalp, wake up the skin, tighten everything up, and reduce inflammation. And last but not least, we are going to finish up our day here today with a hair oil that's going to really soak into the roots of the scalp, the hair, and reduce the inflammation, as well as increase natural blood flow and comfort in the scalp. It should reduce the redness as well. Going to gently apply this to the roots of the hair. We do have some pink pearls in here as well. Okay, Matt, that concludes our treatment for today, as well as our face mapping session and our scalp care. How are you feeling after our treatment today? Good. Excellent. Okay, great. Were you able to help relax? Yes. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much for coming in today, and I look forward to our next appointment. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a great day.